Faced with spiraling inflation, Singaporeans, decrying the escalating cost of living, might be surprised by the optimistic view of a Malaysian living here. The woman who has lived in Singapore since 2013 said that the cost of living in Singapore is actually lower than Malaysia's. The Malaysian's point of view was shared via a Facebook post on the Humans of Kuala Lumpur HOKL page. Much like the Humans of New York page, it's inspired by HOKL professes to be a social advocacy platform that documents the people of KL to get a personal glimpse of their lives. The woman named Mashamir Mustafa, who said she was born and raised in Malaysia, moved to Singapore in 2013 to continue her studies and married a Singaporean after graduating. She is now a permanent resident PR. Based on the background of 10 years living in Singapore, it was a surprise to Miss Mashamir that the cost of living in Malaysia is higher. Singaporeans love going to Malaysia for cheap food and shopping. Thanks to the favourable exchange rate of up to RM 3.56 to 1 Singapore dollar, but we should consider dollars to dollars, ring it to ring it, without conversion, she said. For example, if your salary is 2 Singapore dollars, 000 a month in Singapore and you want to spend 200 Singapore dollars on a bag, you can get brands such as Coach or Braun Buffo, she added. If you don't convert SGD to RM, you can easily afford the international brands with your income. She wrote. The same bag in Malaysia would cost RM 671 Singapore dollars, which would seem to be a bargain when converted to Singapore dollars. However, somebody working in Malaysia who earns RM2.000 monthly would find it pricey, she pointed out. The Malaysian would have to earn three times as much as the Singaporean to afford the same lifestyle, she reasoned. Thus, though individual items seem cheaper in Malaysia due to the exchange rate, the income to spending ratio in Singapore is more sustainable. Another reason why Ms. Mashamir prefers Singapore is she and her husband have money left over every month out of their six Singapore dollars. Zero, zero, zero combined income, she said. After deducting household funds and other monthly expenses, the couple can save up to 500 Singapore dollars each, she said. They also have disposable income for savings and spending on meals. Shopping and vacations. Their financial situation was aided by a grant of 90,000 Singapore dollars on the purchase of their HDB flat in Sengkong, Ms. Mashamir said. The grant was part of the Singaporean government's initiative to help first-time home buyers, which the couple received as she's a PR and her husband is a citizen. They were extremely lucky to get that amount which means they have to pay only 276 Singapore dollars a month to service their half loan and top up the rest using their Central Provident Fund CPF. She added. It also helps that their water and electricity bills are subsidized every three months due to COVID-19 initiatives, she noted. Other essentials, the couple save on our food. Groceries and transport, Ms. Mashamir said. She described food and groceries as affordable due to Community Development Council CDC vouchers that can be used at eateries and supermarkets. Public transport is capable, reliable and convenient, with a mall every corner, meaning they don't have to shell out cash to buy and maintain a car, she added. Finances aside, Ms. Mashamir thinks life in Singapore is definitely more comfortable as they have a more secure and stable lifestyle. She cited generally higher salaries, better job opportunities, better work conditions, more advanced healthcare and safety as some reasons why this is so. Of course, Singapore isn't a bed of roses, Ms. Mashamir conceded. Two of the challenges to living here are the fast pace of life and the crowded public transportation system. She said. 
She lamented that she missed the Lipek lifestyle of Malaysia, where could sit at a mammoth with friends, doing absolutely nothing, with no plans at all. In Singapore, it's hard to find a common day to meet up with friends and they must always plan ahead. Also, the overtime culture in Singapore is a killer and she has had to work overtime and on weekends to clear urgent tasks. In comparison, the work culture in Malaysia is more laid-back and colleagues are more likely to socialise outside of work. She added. So Miss Mashamir does Miss Malaysia, especially her family, she said, but she doesn't regret her choice. That's because after weighing the pros and cons, she's decided that it's still better to live in Singapore. She concluded.